Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel, or welcome to my channel if you are new here. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to use clipping or how to do clipping in Abyss Paint X. Clipping layers are really useful and have a similar function to the bucket or the magic wand or the lasso. And today I'll be showing you how to use them. Essentially, clipping is a function that lets you colour above a layer on a separate layer in a way that will only colour in things that you've already drawn on the first layer. So to show you, let's just do this on one layer. We'll add a couple dots and stuff, just, you know, a bit of scribbling. Then we're going to want to make a layer above it. Now let's say we wanted to colour in this layer underneath, but we'd want to make sure that we could always take it away if we didn't like how it looked. Clipping would be perfect for this. What you're going to want to do is go to the layer that you have right now that is above the layer you just drew on, or the layer that you want to colour in, and click this little button down here that says Clipping. Then you'll see it move slightly backwards. And now, you could change the colour to whatever you want, and you will see it will only colour in what we had on the separate layer. Now, why I personally like clipping as compared to like alpha lock or something that has a similar function is that with clipping, you can always just make the layer invisible. So it's not like it's a permanent change. It's very, very easy to undo because you can just make whatever you drew on invisible. I also really like this because it's very, very good for shading in certain areas or for adding texture or detail. It's just such a lovely feature. And then if you want to unclip it, you can just press the clipping button again. This will then show everything above the layer though, without it being put into the separate one. Then you can always just reclip it. It's also worth noting that you can have as many layers clipping the original one as you want, and these will all go above each other. So this one will still be on the boundaries for the original one, and it'll be placed like a layer above the first clipped layer we did. This will then just keep going and going and going for as many clipped layers as you want, which is really neat to add different layers of texture in my opinion. I personally think it's better than using the bucket, but that's just me. That is how to use clipping. Remember that you can do as many layers as you want, and it works with line art or with just big chunks of colour, with anything you want really, and I totally recommend messing around with it to see what you like. Thank you very much for watching, I hope that you enjoyed, if you did maybe consider supporting. Bye!